Hello, in this video I talk about the maintenance on Maxify GX 1000 and 2000 series models. The following will be covered in the video. There are different model names and ink bottles numbers in different regions or countries. For the product review check the video in the upper right corner. I put on the screen the differences between the two models. I use GX2040 in this video. In the first part I walk through the maintenance menu on the device display. I will do a nozzle check print, which shows the print head health with firmware version and main page counter. There are different cleanings available, same as on every Canon inkjet. During cleaning the ink is consumed and put into maintenance cartridge, which I show how to replace later in the video. I put cleaning instructions on the screen. Next, there is print head alignment. I have demonstrated these procedures in more details in the video about bigger devices in the upper right corner. I put instructions about print head alignment and roller cleaning on the screen. This model has transport mode, which is basically closing the ink valve for transporting purposes to prevent ink leakage. It may take some time, so I speed up the video. And after closing the cover, the device will turn off automatically and will be ready for transport. Same as for other CIS printers, keep it in the horizontal position during transportation. I turn the printer back on and get the message to open the ink valve. When I close the cover, the printer is ready. At the back of the printer, you can remove the paper jam from the two-sided print unit. As Maxify GX series, all models support auto two-sided print. Next, I cover the maintenance functions from the computer or smart device. Tap the printer icon on Canon Print app and select Utilities. Admin password has to be set to access the maintenance utilities via app screen which is by default the device serial number and then needs to be changed to access printer web interface site. Check the video part 4 on this device for step-by-step -step instructions. From the computer, with Quick Utility Toolbox software, you can also access similar functionality as previously via the app. Again, I need admin password.
Here are the maintenance utilities including the replace the ink in a print head, which may help to rescue the print head if a couple of deep cleanings do not help. This puts a lot of ink into maintenance cartridge. Detailed counters can be found in the records of use. From the printer driver, also maintenance step can be accessed with the same functions. I open the same page for maintenance from the remote UI as I did before. So the maintenance functions can be accessed in a different ways. In the last part I replace the maintenance cartridge and print head. First, let's check the maintenance cartridge status from the device menu, as I have already shown it from the remote UI or via the app. The MCG05 is compatible with this series and the capacity is up to 6000 printed pages. The cost is about 20 euro probably and may last about 2 years if you print about 250 pages per month. These models have front replaceable maintenance cartridge. And indeed, it is very easy to replace. So, no service maintenance on this model. Everything can be done by user. On these Maxify GX Series models, you can find print head replacement menu from the user settings. To start this procedure, some capacity in the maintenance cartridge is needed. Similar as previously with transport mode, I close the ink valve and then get the carriage unit into the middle replacement position. Here I take out and show the both print heads, black and color. When I replace the print head, I open the ink valve so the ink can get back to the print heads. And close the cover. Find more about the Maxify GX series from review, unboxing, setup to advanced functionalities and software installation in the previous videos on these devices in the Maxify GX series playlist. And that would be all in this video. Feel free to like or subscribe which is free or become a member to the channel as it helps me to grow and create more content. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye.